Hey there, Fighting Knights fans. I'm Olivia Caro, the Assistant Sports Information Director here at Lynn University, and I am sitting down with the head women's softball coach, Amy Belisari, and we're going to give you a little preview of what's to come this season. So last season was your first season you took over as head coach. Tell me about some of the struggles you faced coming into the program and how you plan to overcome them this season. Well, um, some of the struggles that we had, obviously, were you know new coaching staff, different personalities, um, that kind of thing. So it was just basically all you know, all us getting to know each other, and then them working with a, a program that I'm trying to put in place. But uh, you know, we're it's it's in the past, and uh, we're trying to uh, move move forward with the season, and we're all really excited about it. And I don't let my girls talk about it too much, so I'm not going to go too much into it. Okay. <laughs> Last season, but this season's exciting, so. Okay, so looking to improve from last year's finish, where do you see yourself finishing this year? Well, better than last year. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that, uh, you know, we are working really hard this year and um, a lot of new things are happening. So hopefully we'll, we'll have a, definitely a better season than last year. Okay. So. You have seven returners from last season. Tell me who you're seeing, who you already have seen to stand out and start to lead the team. Well, um, with our seven returners, they all have uh, kind of stepped into a new role. They all have to have this the the role where they're 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 leading somebody. You know, they're leading something because we have such a small team. Um, I think that uh, amongst the returners, the one that sticks out in my head is um, Christina Carvada. She is our leadoff hitter. Um, she's an outfielder. I mean, she's just made uh, huge leaps and bounds in terms of just her her playing and her fundamentals and everything like that. And she's a great teammate. Everyone loves her. Um, she's the epitome of what you would say, um, you know, a good teammate and a leader is, honestly. Okay. So alongside your seven returners, you have five newcomers. You have a really small group. How's that team dynamic coming together so far? Well, um, it's right now it's coming together really well. Uh, it took a little time. Um, it took a little time for us to learn each other, um, the different personalities, like I said. Um, just getting to know how people respond to different things and I think that they're finally starting to get it and I'm really excited for the way they're playing now because they're they're doing awesome. Tell me about a little bit about the talent that you've brought to the team and where you see them stepping up into a starting role. Well um, I have a couple new players that I brought in. Um, Devin Kachurgan is a catcher. Uh, she graduated from Tallahassee Community College so she's coming in um, is gonna. I'm, I'm expecting great things from her. Um, she's a great leader, you know, great player. And um, I have Jasmine Campos. She's a freshman from California. She uh, will be playing, you know, shortstop for us probably. And um, I have Danielle McNeil. She's literally plays everywhere. She's from New Jersey. Um, came from a community college out there, so she literally will play everywhere for us and um, be a good good addition to the team. So it's good to see you have a lot of versatility in the newcomers that you've brought to the team. Absolutely. So the okay, so your season opens on February 2nd in Columbus, Georgia at the Peach Belt Sun Sunshine State Conference crossover tournament. You face four teams from the Peach Belt Conference. Um, tell me how you're preparing for this trip with the season right around the corner. Well, um, we're really excited about this tournament because there are really uh, good teams, some of the best in the country, honestly. Um, it'll set us up for the rest of the season and just in terms of being ready, and I love playing this type of competition. Um, the way that we'll prepare for it is going to be basically the same way. We prepare for everything else because right after this, it's going to go right into our season, and we're going to keep moving forward because it's kind of you hit the ground running and you don't have time to really do much else, so you got to prepare for everything. But uh, we're working hard in the weight room and um, on the field and everything like that, so we're doing everything we can to, to be ready. All right, sounds good. Well, fans can catch all the action live at lynnfightingnights.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow at LU Nights on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks.